Friday goes. Today is Thursday, May 5th. It's Cinco de Mayo. And it is day three of our specials rotation. All right, at this time, we're going to have Miss Miss V's class introduce themselves. Say your name. This is West. What's your name? Mom. Elias, Isaac, and Moonzy. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Go watch on the screen out here. Come on, Elias. Miss me. Miss Carmen. Watch. Watch. Watch right here. Look. All right. We are back for another great day of teaching and learning here at Hector Cafferata Elementary School. And it is May 5th, so that's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. It was also my grandmother's birthday, believe it or not. Okay. So, yep. Um, but I don't know if a lot of people know what Cinco de Mayo actually is. So Cinco de Mayo was when, hold on. Got a little handy dandy. I do, here, okay. Yeah. It's when the when the when when Mexico beat the French um, Empire, okay? And it was in 1862. That's what I had to look up because I couldn't remember the year. 1862. A lot of people confuse Cinco de Mayo with uh, Mexico's Independence Day, but mm -hmm. that is actually in September. I believe it's September 16th. Okay. So... Um, so that's why we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And did you know that it's actually celebrated more in the United States than it is in Mexico? In Mexico. Yes. Yep. I did not know that. A little piece of trivia yes. for you today. All right. And also on May 5th, we have some other birthdays. So happy birthday to Keisha Charles in grade 3, Aaron Ellison in grade 5, Michael Angelo Goodridge in grade 2, and Mauro Martin Suarez in grade 1. So happy birthday today. Yeah, we hope that you all have a fantastic day. And then for lunch today, we're going to have assorted fruit, California vegetables, tossed salad, hot dogs, oh, hot dog. or a power pack, okay? And then our teachers, don't forget, you're not your nacho average teachers <laughs> and staff. So starting at 10 in the community room, we have a nacho bar set up for you in celebration of teacher and staff appreciation week. So I love that. Nacho average. Nacho yes. average. Yes. Nacho <laughs> average. So we'll put our teachers up against anybody's teachers at any school, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. You have some drawing yep. for us? So I have, um, you know, we're talking, always talking about being responsible, respectful, and ready to learn. And, you know, in that cafeteria, we have those positive behavior tickets. So it is time because I want to give a couple people some few more days to get their tickets in for um, April. So we want to get to reward some students for the cafeteria. All right. So, I can't wait to so hear. We have some winners. There were tickets were chosen. for First off, for our Transformer car. Oh, wow. Look at that. And this was Theo Flint All right. his Dietrich's class. First grade Theo, Theo Flint. Flint. All right. So this Transformer class. car. That's pretty cool. Transformer car. Okay, next we had the assorted. Remember, I talked about assorted, which is different types. Bags of Takis. <laughs> Everyone loves Takis. <laughs> and this is Ashley Gonzalez from Miss Henshaw's class. Congratulations, Ashley. Ashley Gonzalez, Miss Henshaw's class. We had, next up, we had the balloon punch balls right here. You can put them in your wrist and kind of have some fun with right there. And the winner of that was Lucas Fernandez from Miss Castro's class. All right, congratulations, Lucas. Fernandez. Lucas. And last, most popular, we have those the fidget, fidget toys. I bet you there were a lot of tickets a in the fidget bucket. A lot of tickets in the fidget toy set. Yep. And the student that was picked out was Arantz, Arantzia Torres from Miss O'Grady's class. Right. Congratulations, Congratulations to today. all of our April winners. We still have May going on. Yep, so make sure that today, you are yeah. being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn in the cafeteria so that you can earn a blue ticket and um, be picked for the drawing. Yep. Right? So I'll come around today to with those prizes and then we'll have those new May ones up. So Also remember that we've been talking about giving those positive affirmations to our staff, to our not only our teachers, but our support staff too, because without them, I mean, it wouldn't happen, you know? Yeah, it's a team effort. So sure. students and also adults, let's give each other some affirmations for the things that are going well, right? Um, because remember, a teacher takes a hand, opens a mind, or touches a heart. Right. So, it yes. does. 
So remember that challenge. Make sure you say thank you or what you appreciate to the teacher and staff right. this week. All right, teachers too in uh, fourth and fifth will have FSA makeups today. So there's some, maybe some students um, getting pulled from your classes. And I know that Ms. Walsh sent out an email regarding that um, yesterday afternoon. That's all we have for today. Have a great day. Don't, rem don't forget to be responsible, be respectful, be ready to learn. Most importantly, remember, smiles are free. And let's hear about some smiles. What grade is this today? Uh, this is third grade today. Third grade, talking about their teachers. We are back for Teacher Appreciation Week, and we have third grade here today. And third grade, my question for you today is, you've been in class now for thir third grade here for quite a while, quite a few months, and you've probably learned some things about your teacher. So my question is, what is something that you have learned about your teacher? Okay, so what's your name? Jordan. What is something you've learned about your teacher? I learned that he likes to do a lot of projects and he has a really creative mind. Oh, I love that. Very creative mind right there, your teacher. Good. What's your name? Jordan. And what have you learned about your teacher? That she likes to give compliments when we do very good at other people's so special, she's not specials. Oh, when you guys come back from special, she likes to give compliments. Good. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, what do you love? What do you of? Uh, what have you learned about your t from your teacher? That she likes us to learn our um, business and to not uh, like cheat in tests and all that stuff, like teacher things. Okay, like honesty sounds like. Okay, what's your name? Emily. Emily, what have you learned about your teacher? I've learned about Miss Miss Castro and she really likes things that are organized. <laughs> she likes to be organized. Okay. And what's your name? Natalia. Natalia, what have you learned about your teacher? I learned about my teacher that he likes dogs and um, he likes the color blue. <laughs> like dogs in the color blue. Good. Excellent. So, you know, it's wonderful we can kind of share things that we love, but we, we learned about our teachers right there. And we want to give them a count of three here. Let's do a happy appreci teacher appreciation, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy appreciation. appreciation. Happy teacher appreciation, everyone. Thank you.